hello everyone in this video i will explain you about gdb and how to use that okay so what is gdb gdb stands for gnu debugger it is used to debug c programs in linux and unix environment okay so uh, like in windows environment we have ids like we have visual studio id we have uh, code blocks uh, dev c++ many life so they have inbuilt debugger in that so we can uh, use that id to debug that code but in the case of unix when we don't use any id and if we want to debug like we are uh, compiling the code from gcc in terminal and uh, we want to debug that code so we use gdb in that gdb is command line debugger okay so let's get start so as you can see in this program uh, I have one function and one global variable and inside this function I have some a local variable where one and I'm printing this value in this function and in main function uh, I am the printing the value of the global variable where so I will use GDB to bug this code so first uh, we have to compile this code okay we will use GCC for that so the name of the file is main.c so let's compile that so one thing we have to mind, uh, be aware that when we, we will debug this code using gdb we have to give some extra argument here minus g okay now give the name of the output file that will be main input file will be main.c now if i compile this it compiles successfully so now we will use gdb to debug this code now to enter into gdb we'll have to type gdb and the name of the executable file that is main so now enter this so now we are in gdb and we are uh, debugging this main.c file okay so first i will do is i will set the breakpoint I will set the breakpoint at uh, line number 15. So let's set that. So to set the breakpoint in GDB, we will use the command B and line number which is 15. Now enter this. As you can see, breakpoint 1 at file main.c line 15. Okay. Now I want to run the code till the breakpoint. So I will use command R, R for run. When I type when I type R, it goes to the breakpoint and it's print the value of where where like you can see you can see where value is 5 okay so it means line number 14 have been executed and now it is at line number 15 which you can see breakpoint 1 and main.c 15 line number which is function 1 okay now uh, i want to go inside this function 1 so what i will do is i will step in so to do step in i will use command s if I type S, I will go in this function 1. So I am at the braces, which is line number 7. You can see I am at this point. Now if I type uh, again S, now I am at this line where 1. Now if I type again S, now I am at this line, line number 9. So if you want to print uh, the any uh, like um, in other IDs we can uh, view the value of variables using a watch window. We can also do this in GDB. We can use print command to see the value of any variable. Like if I want to see the value of where 1 I can do print where 1. As you can see it prints the value 6. Okay now uh, if uh, we want to step out from any function like we don't want to go inside any function but we want to step over that function so we will use command n like if i use s now so it will go inside the printf function okay i don't want to go inside the printf what's uh, happening there i just want to step out from that so i will use command n now as you can see it step out from this printer function and it prints the value of where 1 which is 6 now if i type uh, s it will step out from uh, step in from line number 10 and will go to i think line number 16 let's see that 
yeah, it goes to line number 16. Now if I again as uh, press F, it will go to line number 17. So, okay, so now the, my execution is completed. So if we want to exit from the JDB, we will use command Q. Now I will run this again. Let's break point again at 15. So now if I want to step over from this function 1, I will use command n. Like in as previous, I have used s here to step in this function, but I now I want to step out from that function. And also I want to print the value of where. So I will use first I will print the value of where. So I will type print where so value is 5 now if i want to step over from this function 1 i will type n as you can see it prints the value in this function 1 and we do not uh, did not get in function 1 we just step over from that okay so now i will exit now oh. so that's all for in this video Thank you so much for watching this. See you soon.